guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite flat fold. Hopefully this angle is okay. Um, I've never tried to do a video like this. So yeah, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, my favorite fold is the Pikmin fold. It's basically the only fold I ever do. So yeah, it was easy to pick what my favorite one was. And also today is day three of the flat skin hand washing challenge, which is the point of this video. So anytime I wrap a flat, I wrap it in the Pikmin fold. It's basically the only fold I ever use. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you what you need to do. So I use a flower sack towel, not an actual flat. These are super, super cheap. I don't actually own any technical flats. I always just use flower sack towels. So the first thing you're going to start by doing is bringing this over. And mine's always a little wonky because my flower sack towels are stretched out and um, used and they're not flat so they kind of stretch a little wonky so mine never matches up perfectly but you pull it a little this way and you leave some space along the edges that's going to help determine how long your wings are so you can do more or you can do less so let me show you that again so i usually pull it over about here because i don't need very long wings for kind so and then just kind of stretch and flatten it out that way so as you can see my end down here is really skinny whereas that's not even meeting and with this fold i find it really doesn't matter that much if you want to nitpick you can kind of fold your um flat into a perfect rectangle beforehand but i don't ever bother doing that then you're going to bring this back over a little this way and flatten it out like that and then you're going to pull this side over this way flatten it down just like you did a minute ago and pull it back something like this so you end up having these layers overlapping in the middle so then once you've got that you're going to pull the end down here down to your end down here so it's going to end up looking like this then once you have that, you're gonna fold under your little points. Once you have it folded down into this shape, baby's bum goes here, it pulls up around them and wraps around. If you use an actual flat, it's going to look a lot more neat and tidy, but honestly, I don't care. I'm cheap and this works perfectly for kind. It doesn't give the, um, I don't like when they come down too far on the legs and I'll show you more when I'm actually showing you how I put it on cotton here in just a second. Um, so yeah, that's basically my favorite fold and give me just a second and I'm going to get cotton on the changing table and I will show you how I put this on him. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick this up under him. It came unfolded a little bit so I need to fold it back. Right. So I'm just going to lift the side up under his butt like I mentioned a minute ago. So make sure that these are tucked in so i've got the wings here and then here is the part that i was telling you about and then i'm going to pull this up so it's pulled up here and then i'm going to wrap my wing around and then i'm pulling up back here to make sure and there it is for the most part we grab a snappy so now I'm just going to snappy it on. Then check under and make sure the snappy is not poking him anywhere. And then after I do that, I like to jelly roll the leg elastics. Not leg elastics, but jelly roll the legs some so that they don't leak any poo out if we have a poo. This fold doesn't come down as far on his thigh as like the origami would and stuff so yeah that is how you do the pikmin fold and that is my favorite fold 